Dan, hi. Welcome to the UK. Good, thank you. Welcome to the UKBC this year. Um, your performance today, how did it go for you? Yeah, I was really pleased with it. Um, everything went more or less according to plan. So, yeah, it was good. So, uh, back again after last year. Um, what's your aim this year? Are you, uh, where are you heading? What are you looking for? Um, I just want to do a routine which I'm happy with. You know, whatever happens, the judges decide if they like it. It doesn't really matter as long as I can come off stage and say, yeah, I'm happy with that. I'm yeah. pretty pleased. Yeah. Lots of newcomers this year. Um, good to see. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Really good ones. Like the standard's been really high, so I'm impressed. What would you say if you were somebody who was going to enter next year for the first time? What would your sort of main piece of advice be for them? Just do it. Um, practice, 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 and just go for it. There's nothing to lose. Like the worst you can do is last, and you're still ahead of everyone else anyway. So. Good advice. Um, your coffees. What were you using this year? Um, I used two blends of the same coffees but with different percentages so um, for my espresso I wanted to focus on the acidity and balance it with um, a slight sweetness and bitterness um, and then for my cappuccinos I changed it around so in the espressos I had a washed coffee from Ethiopia a um, cooperative called Nagel Gobitu and then I balanced it with two coffees from the same farm so 25% of a natural 25% of a pulp natural in Brazil um, farm called Das Almas and then for the cappuccinos I kind of turned it on its head so we had a lot more of the um, pulp natural and the natural and less of the acidic okay. wash coffee so what do you think for baristas doing the competition what's the biggest sort of challenge do you think you know is it, is it finding the coffees or is it just the actual preparation and the pressure up there or? um being able to do it on stage I think yeah. and just I think the more you practice the less likely anything is to go wrong but it's always going to go wrong so but I think like I did a practice a couple of nights ago and I knocked out my handle and a some coffee grinds just went straight in my eye and I thought well at least I've got it over and done with it's probably not going to happen twice but the more you do it the more things go wrong and I suppose you can kind of account for them that way so I can't remember the question was uh, <coughs> well we're just talking about what's the most challenging you know yeah. for is it finding the coffees or is it <laughs> and coffee in your eye yeah those kind of accidents you've got to choose the right coffee but working with a roaster really helps because they can tell you what they think is good and you can play around with it yeah. signature drink this year what was uh, behind that um, I was kind of borrowing some techniques from Eth an Ethiopian coffee ceremony. Um, very old school way of doing it. It's just roast and crush the beans in a pestle and mortar. Um, and I, I didn't crush the beans with a pestle and mortar, but I borrowed techniques to kind of represent the flavours in my drink and show how I balance the three coffees. So, yeah. Um, yeah. And, and, and finally, sort of three words to describe your performance this year. What would those three words be? I don't know. Is that three words? I'm not sure, yeah. It is, but it's not yeah. a great answer. Um, I guess. Acidity, sweetness, bitterness, I guess. Sums it up then, yeah. Yeah, maybe. I should have prepared for that question. I didn't. Curveball. Thanks, Dan. Cheers. Thanks very much. Cheers.